All right. Hello and welcome everybody to the Sunday Runday for round five. This map is a map called Uptenebration by Jane. It is a ba basically just a rocket map, but uh, there's some strafe elements as well. And today I'm not alone. I know, I can hardly believe it either. With you today is Lolograde. Hello. So that's the voice of Lolograde. That's like the main organizer for this cup. And, uh, <laughs> he's going to be here with me today going through these demos. Hey, Donald. Hey, Lolo. I th uh, hope you're doing well because I think we're going to just jump right into it. Sure, yeah. Let's go. All right. 22nd place. This week we've had 22 demos plus one extra. Yep. Uh, do you have the first one pulled up? I do. Hang on. I think a lot of people are going to be surprised by who's in last place, but then once you start yeah. seeing the run, you'll understand why. So, yeah, I'm good. All right, uh, three, two, one, go. This map, uh, or rather this run, is by HT Prankster, who I'm sure many people are surprised to be seeing in last place. But as you can see, uh, HT took uh, Jane's or, or Labby's comment very seriously when he said that this is also a strafe map, or you can complete this as a strafe map. Yep, so he's uh, demonstrating that for us, and he actually does an amazing job, too, because some of the jumps are quite huge. Yeah, you can definitely see that these lines are very smooth, and he gets good angles. I think he's really looking forward to a strafe-only map in this tournament, so... Aren't we all? Ends up just under a minute. 59.3. Nice. Twenty-first place. Jaguar. Alright, I'm ready. Beat you there. I'm ready when you are. Alright, go. Jaguar flexing his golden rocket launcher. Takes the upper route, same as uh, HT. Definitely a bit W heavy on the turns, but gets through just fine anyway. Takes the left route here. Not choosing to uh, rocket much here on the walls while he's in the. Yeah. It looks like he, with that height, he could have taken the right route. But. Yeah. Some decent rockets here, nonetheless. Ends up with 54 flat. Very nice. People are saying that the uh, stream is a bit too dark. Uh, the only way to increase brightness is through gamma, right? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I got my gamma at like 2.2. Yeah, it's the same for me. I'm gonna put it at 2.5, but you know, the colors are gonna look a little bit washed out now, so think about that what you will. They say sun is turned off. It is. In that case, I'm going to bump the gamma down again. All right. All right, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, three. I'm still loading. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just had to adjust the settings before this. You don't have like a AMD card, do you? No, it's Nvidia. All right, twentieth place. We've got demo light. I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. That takes the outsider out. Yeah. Again, quite W heavy on the turns. Right side here. 
And right side again. Does not use the rams, but rather uses rockets to uh, get over these walls, I guess. Not choosing to wall rocket there, though it looked like he might have wanted to. Yeah. Might be uncomfortable a little bit with the rockets and um, reflex. Yeah. 54. No, 53.4. My bad. Well done to Demolite. Yeah, very nice run. 19th place, we've got 4th World Marshal. I've been practicing that. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Uh, 3, 2, 1, go. Going very interesting the, start. Yeah, going for a different start there. Using the weapon clip. Yeah. I, actually, I don't think I've seen that before. That was interesting. Left side here, and then the transitions over to the right side here. Hmm, not, uh, not getting quite enough height, I think, uh, as he wanted to. But still manages to make it through. Again, Using okay. lots of uh, ground rockets, too. Yeah. yeah. I think it should be pointed out that um, the rockets and reflex get progressively harder the faster you go, so... I think it goes especially using the ground for rockets. Ground rockets yeah. 52.7. Nice job. 19th place for Fourth World Marshal. Yeah, no Al with us today, unfortunately. 18th place, we've got Craxel. Alright, uh, I'm ready when you are. Alright, go. Go. Taking the inside route, it seems. Oh, missing his jump there. Oh, yeah. Again, W all the way. Doing a few more uh, wall rockets than we saw in the other run. Barely hits that round. Oh, yeah. But keeps very nice speed off of it. A lot of height here. 49, sub 50 for Craxel. Well done. Moving on to 17th place. We have Kaum. How do you say this? Kawum? Kawum. It's like a V. Ah. Alright, I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Got some heavy lags at the start there, but this is the first time we see that advanced start strategy where you really try to use the entire uh, start area. Yeah, get as much speed going out as possible. Also keeps uh, actually pretty good speed through that uh, ramp up. Again, relying a lot on uh, ground rockets. Delaying his rocket there a little bit so you can have a little bit more control. Ends up with 46.7. Well done to Kaboom. Yep. Nice job. Crazy Owl in 16th mm. place. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, 3, 2, 1, go. Not quite using the entire start area, but he does uh, do a little circle jump to try to max out his speed a little bit. Very clean D turn there. 
cutting some corners as well. Doesn't carry a lot of speed off that jump, but it is very sharp. And he uses a lot more wall rockets than the people before him, so yep. definitely picks up more speed here. Yeah, like you can see, he goes for wall rockets wherever he can. Whoa, almost 4,000 at the end. Sub 46, yeah. well done to Crazy Al as well. Moving on to 15th place, we've got Janky, who I think I mentioned this last uh, round. He's a he's a dueler, but he's been showing pretty impressive results so far. Yeah, definitely nice to see him participating in this as well. Are you ready? Yeah, three, right, go. two, one, go. Very clean start. Yeah, definitely, you can see him aiming a little further back on the wall rockets, that means he really is trying to uh, get as much speed as he can out of each individual rocket. Sometimes it's better to take the time to improve the angle for a single rocket than to try to go for two botched rockets. A little bit shy in uh, going for the other wall rockets over here though, but still gets through just fine. Oh, maybe got a little too much hype there on that rocket at the ramp. Oh, but 800 UPS off that last rocket actually, that was almost perfect. 45.2, well done to Janky. And 14th place, we've got Cosmo. Hmm. Alright, I'm ready. Alright, go. Skimming nice that clip. very tightly, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was an interesting use of that ramp. Kind of going wide, but he keeps a lot of speed. Going a little crazy with his W turns, but... I mean, if it works. Ooh. Oh, gets caught there. Forty-four. Forty-four. Very nice. Not perfectly clean, but it was a very nice run, nonetheless. 13th place at Varium. Um, ready when you are? Alright, go. Actually, I think a pretty good placement for Advarium, all things considered. Yeah. Oh, very tight turn there, going right. Hey, it went straight into the wall, which seems like maybe that was a little bit of a mistake. With the big jump in the middle. But he's still making great time. Yeah. Again, going for that height rocket at the bottom of the drop, I'm not sure if that's the optimal way. But still, 44.0. Well done to Advarium. Alright, give me a minute, I have to enable uh, player keys. Alright. In 12th place we got Thoric. Yep. I yep. think is the lone uh, Swede in the tournament now, that Lone ADR wolf. is... Yeah. Alright, I'm ready when you are. Alright, go. Going for a rocket on the back wall. Pretty good speed in this hall. Oh, and gets actually keeps pretty good speed there as well, 1400 uh, through the ascent. 
some very nice rockets too. All, all his rocket boosts are pretty strong. 2,000 through that round. Again, a little bit shy on the wall rocket, but makes it nonetheless. And pretty good speed here. 38.96. Ends up with 42.6. Well done to Thorak. Yeah, well done. Eleventh place, we've got Vus the Vessel. I'm ready when you are. Go. Yeah, again, using that more advanced strat at the start, really trying to use as much of the starting area as he can to try to essentially offset his rocket timing. Takes the outside route at the start. Not uncommon when you have uh, as much speed as he did. 1600 through the ascent, very, yeah, very, very nice. Clean. Definitely part of the Reflex Menza Society. <laughs> oh, almost high enough for a ceiling rocket. Keeping to the right wall, but actually serves him pretty well. 42 flat, well done. Alright, top 10. Yeah, we're entering top 10 territory. First guy we've got is Alex in 10th place. Ready when you are? Go. Very clean start. Not very fancy, but very clean. 2600 oh. at this point. Yeah, that's very nice. Much faster than I think we've seen so far. Yeah. 1700, and barely gets enough height as well. Really, really good wall rockets. You can see like almost 400 UPS per rocket there. That's excellent. Stacking the rocket here Ooh. in the drop. Style points. Cool. .3. Very nice. Ninth place. We've got Don. Wow, we've really got like a Dutch brigade uh, or a brigade here. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm ready, ready when you are. All right, go. Okay, go. Oh, 823 from the first Whoa. rocket. Yeah, Don's been very impressive this tournament so far. Yeah. I'm not sure. Didn't he place like fourth last round? Uh, yeah, you're right. Twenty-seven hundred in the hall. Twenty-two hundred off that ramp. I'm not even sure if he double jumped it. Forty-three hundred by the end of the wall. Just above forty seconds flat. Well done. In eighth place, we've got Torner from Russia. I'm ready. And, and I, I understand this guy's really sick when um, with rockets and defrag Q3. Yeah. Defrag. All right, uh, go. I mean, most of the Russian Quake 3 defrag players are magically really good at rockets somehow. Oh, going for an additional rocket there so you can try to maximize the speed he gains right there from bouncing on the downward ramp. Over 3,100. Yeah. Doesn't quite keep as much speed through the ascent because he collides with the wall, but it might still have been worth it. Oh, sticks to the right side there. That uh, affords him to do uh, an additional wall rocket. He misses that first quad rocket, though. And that one. Yeah, he missed a couple in the end. But still a very good run, I think. 39.8. Well done to Torner. I don't know if you've seen uh, his videos, like his um, in-person videos of him doing these runs, but it looks like he's on 
um, maybe like a little like LCD flat panel monitor. I don't know if that's holding them back any. <laughs> that's the classic defragger setup. Just a terrible screen and everything else. <laughs> All right, we've got Doombro. Uh, ready when you are? Go. Doombro's also been having a really impressive tournament so far. Definitely. I'm surprised to see these like W turns so high up in the rankings. I guess we owe that to the this map's spaciousness. No offense to the W on Mafia, of course. Almost three thousand before that ramp. Very yeah. nice. Gets another rocket off before the telly. Wow, it didn't even hit the ground. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. 39.7. Well done, Doombro. Alright, moving up to 6th place. Cute bones. Still not really clear on who he is, but I believe I was right when I said that he's a Quake 3 defrag player. But in any case, it's nice to see him, and it's also cool to see him high up on the ranking. Yeah, he goes uh, by Dream in Discord. I don't know if that means anything differently to you. All right, I, well, I'm ready when you I think I know a, a Quake 3 defrag player named Dream. All right, so let's go. All right, three, two, one, go. Also using that advanced starting strat. I know people go nuts when I say advanced, so I'll keep saying it. Very tight around that corner. Yeah. Sacrificing some opportunities for for general speed to just try to clean up his lines and actually really sticking to the left side here. Yeah, did you see he used that ramp to get more height Yeah. at the expense yeah. of speed? So. Yeah, it's a very clean route that he's using. Definitely. 39.5. I think that was really, really close to Turner's run, actually. Uh, yeah, it looks about 200 um, milliseconds faster. Well done to Dream. Alright, moving on to top 5. Quasar. Nice to see him a little bit higher up in the ranks after that. Uh, a little bit of a struggle uh, last round. Yeah, he was, I think, in ninth place last round. So definitely an improvement from him. All right. All right, go. I'm ready when you are. Go. Again, using that speed at the start. And you can see he's taking it a little bit slower on the wall rockets, but that actually works out well for him because his angles end up better as a result. A lot of speed here. I know. You can tell he's very comfortable with the rockets and uh, reflex. Yeah, 1700 through the ascent takes the right side and gets over 3000 already. Clips that, which allows him to keep his line a little bit more clean. 1500 out of the drop. A little bit awkward on these quad rockets, I think. But still a very good run with 38.6. Nicely done, Quasar. Yeah, very nice. Right, I don't know if he's a, like a low sensitivity player, but he's got kind of that look of like kind of slow yeah, turning, controlled. but like very efficient. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I heard that through your mic. <laughs> All right, fourth. Yeah, we got Wreath. Wreath. And a represent. Yeah, my fellow Yankee. All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm nice. Taking an additional wall rocket on the on the left there. I, th I don't think we've seen that before. Clips that with twenty seven hundred. Oh man, so much speed. Oh yeah, carrying him on top of those uh, pillars on the left. I don't think we've seen that. Yet. 
Both yeah. pillars. And taking that right oh, side wow. there as well with the ramp. What? Yeah, that cut. That tight turn. Yeah, I'm sure that saved them tons of time too, wow. Wow, 36.1. Jeez. That's two seconds. Do, do you want to watch that one again, or do you want to watch I the I think extra? I will, actually. Because his route was so different. So you can see, uh, not quite the normal start, but it does an additional wall rocket on the left there. Very good wall rocket there. Ends up with 2700 after the ramp bounce clips that. Yeah. Maintains 2700. Yeah, I don't think we've seen someone carry that much speed through that turn. Yeah. On top of the pillars, which means that he's able to use the left wall the entire way. That's like five or six wall rockets again, and then on the right here with the ramp, and carries that height to be able to actually cut the corner during that turn. Thirty-six point one. Well done, Reef. Yeah, it's impressive. Very impressive. Alright, I think we'll use the extra replay now. It crashed. What's... oh, I know. Yeah, here the we label go. is wrong. Okay. Right, I'm ready when you are. By Woody. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. It's not by Woody. What? Uh, no, it's by Shark. It's called uh -oh. Extra 01. Oh, no! I, I just spoiled the show for everybody. Sorry, fellas. Whoa. Well, it's no problem. Ah, uh, peace dits. Sorry, fellas. <laughs> We've got Chinese Sharkosity. Are we, uh, we got it pulled up now? Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one, go. That's my bad. Twenty two hundred at the turn. It's very nice. He's using that W turn, but it looks yeah. very clean and tight. Using the left route here. Yeah, I'm I'm really surprised he did that because it seems like he got the height and he probably could have made the right hand turn. Which is I think a lot shorter of a route. Probably wasn't comfortable enough with that just yet. Oh, not going for the wall rocket at the end there. It's fake out. But really good speed in the quad section. 47.7. All right, back to the top three. Let's just pretend that whole thing didn't Yeah. <laughs> we'll just cut that out in post-production. Yeah, in post. Yeah. Thank God we're not live. Yeah. <laughs> All right, third place, we've got Knight. Knight. Reflex Knight represent. Man. I'm ready when you are. Alright, let's go. This is that same start that we see before. Oh, but that additional rocket as well. Very, very fast here. Not quite the same speed as uh, Wreath. As a Wreath, yeah. But better speed here, 1900. Whoa! Yeah. Double jumps yeah, that jumps there. He's making a lot better use of the rockets for sure. Yeah, but goes for the same turn cut here. 3300 before the telly. And really good speed out of the quad there. 35. As crazy as I'll put it, W as fuck. <laughs> That's uh, one second faster than Wreath, by the way. Yeah, so Wreath we're was at 36.1. All right, second place. Who could it be? You guys think it's Woody? No, it's Dex. All right, Dex in second place. All right, I'm ready when you are. Let's go. Same starting strat. Uses uses the the clipping mechanic, guys. Like the wall skim there. 
inner route. Really good speed here. Clips that as well, just like Wreath. 1964 through the ascent. Whoa. These rockets are insane. Using that it's like every jump, single yeah. rocket. Like the strafe double jump that Jane put in to be able to uh, stay on the right. An additional wall rocket there as well. Oh, offsets his quad rocket time oh to push one in at the very start. 34.8. Well done. Uh, we should watch that one again. Yeah. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Go. Yeah. It's just impressive how much speed he gets from every single rocket. I don't yeah. think he biffed a single rocket oh, here. Oh shit. I rewinded it too far. Alright, we're good. Oh, I could just use the command, right? I could just re-enter yeah. that. Oops. <laughs> but again, clips that at 2790. 3157, and look at that. 1964 through the ascent. Does not have the spacing to keep on top of the pillars, so he uses the double jump that was put in by Jane. And again, cuts the turn here. Also, double U turning. Interesting. He's making use of all the tools available. Definitely integrating himself into the reflex community. <laughs> that that jump off the stairs is ridiculous to me. Yeah. Like I don't know how you are able to to jump that quickly and get through them like that. All right, you ready for first place? Oh crap! All right, my bind's messed up. I just wanted to show that in slow motion. See, he doesn't even triple. Like the double gets him enough height there, so he can just skim over. Alright, now I'm loading first. I'm ready. Alright, ready, set, go. It's like pretty much the same run as uh, Dex at the start. Yeah, it doesn't clip that. It gets a better wall rocket as he enters this big hall. 3300 at the ramp. Yeah. Does the same Whoa. double jump. An additional wall rocket during the double jump. 3,500. Wow. He almost doesn't even jump on the stairs there. Thirty-three point five. Wow. How much did Dex have again? 34.8? Yeah, 34... almost 34.9. It was 34.893. So this is 1.4 seconds faster, roughly, or 1.3. Yeah. That's a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, let's... you're gonna replay it? Man, this time. Alright, I'm ready. Go ahead. Inner rocket there. Does not have to clip this, but you can see he gets more speed from that wall rocket. It's basically Watch anywhere this. he can do a rocket at, he does a rocket. Yeah, like on the double jump he actually gets almost 100 UPS from that additional wall rocket. And here as well, he has to push himself down so that his spacing is actually aligned with this ramp here. You can see he barely makes it. Damn. Woody. Amazing job. Yeah. Alright. Um, so I guess we'll say a few words about the next map. I could just um, show it. Yeah, sure. Hold right. up. So we've heard your cries, and we're doing our best. Next map is by Smile Scythe, as I'm sure some people have uh, already theory crafted. It's called RR Smile 5, go figure. And first of all, I just want to say this map is utterly, like, just drop dead gorgeous. Yeah. Smile is amazing with his uh, aesthetics and his maps. Yeah, and I really think he's outdone himself this time. And uh, yeah. this map is essentially, it's a combination of really, really intricate and technical strafe with rockets not being, or like weapons not being used as weapons by themselves, but I feel yeah, like not like you would normally think the man. strafe, you know? Yeah. I would I I the way I would think about it is more like a sort of like a puzzler map a little yeah. bit uh, and it's also very non-linear 
meaning like there's a bunch of different ways to do each of the different stages in the map. So it might look kind of daunting at first, but once you figure out um, some techniques or some approaches, it might make a lot more sense. So yeah, definitely like a puzzler map, non-linear. Yeah, absolutely it will look daunting at first, by the way. So don't get discouraged yeah. by that, because I do think that this map is going to be a lot of fun for a lot of people. Yeah, it's like uh, a 300 IQ <laughs> Definitely map. a mental map. You know, yeah, uh, Smile, though, his maps just look incredible, too. I mean, this is like definitely cinematic yeah. level map. So people are wanting me to show the first jump. So uh, the first jump is actually non-linear, as Lolo said. There are two ways that you can go. You can see there's a teleporter over there, and there's a teleporter up there. And you have to figure out a way to get to either of them, and then you'll see where those take you. But I think that's all I'm going to show for now. I want to yeah. have the people figure out the rest. So, yeah, I think yeah, I'm it's uh, really looking forward point. to seeing the replays next Sunday. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, I, think, All right, guys. I hope everybody had a good time, even though I screwed it up. But, you know, let's just ignore oh, no, that. No and, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next Sunday. All right. Thanks, Donald.